Church, you can call home where we honor God and we love families. We serve others and we pursue excellence. Amen. Bienvenidos a la iglesia de nuevo comienzo. We want to welcome all our NBC family. We want to welcome uh, <clears throat> all our visitors and all of you that are joining us by audio and video. And all we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive. Have the right attitude. We're going to be talking about attitude. Have the right attitude to receive whatever God has for you. If all you see is a man up here just blasting out words, you know, then you're not going to catch anything. But if you see a man of God that's up here delivering the word of God and what yeah. God has given me, then you're yeah. going to get, you know, come with an attitude of receiving. Amen. Yeah. Come with an attitude of saying, hey, I want to be changed. Mm -hmm. And the word of God can change you if you allow yourself to have yeah. that right attitude to receive. Amen. Praise God. So God's not finished with you. Amen. Uh, he wants greater, greater things for you. So all we need to do is make ourselves available. Amen. Yeah. Make yourself available. Know that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. It says, greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Yeah. There's things against the world coming against you. But you, you know what? There's big things. There's big giants. There's big problems coming against you. But greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. Amen. Yeah. Just know that I'm a winner. I'm a champion. I'm an overcomer. You got to confess these things over yourself. That's what the Word of God is. I'm just confessing the Word of God. I'm speaking the Word of God. Yeah. I used to just blast anything, but I don't do that no more. I put a card and I I just speak what the Word of God says. Amen. So yeah. let's remember this, okay? And we're going to be talking about attitude adjustments. Oh, boy. Amen. So if you're going to catch anything, catch an attitude adjustment. And I want a, a scripture break here. I want to read at you. And uh, it goes, well, you know what? Let's do this first. Grab your sword, soldier of God, and let's make this confession together. Amen? Amen. Amen. You know what? Because our minds is the battlefield. Yes. And uh, we want to make this declaration together. Amen? So this is my Bible. I am I what it says I am. I have what it says. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Ooh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Remember that the battlefield is the mind. And the Bible tells us to renew your mind with the word of God. Amen. And how do I grow and change my attitude? I read the word. Study the word. Meditate the word. And speak the word. Amen. Anyway, a scripture break says attitude is your choice no, you, I like that. attitude adjustment yeah. <laughs> good <laughs> we're going to be talking about attitude <laughs> we, need, we need an attitude adjustment each and every day you know what when you wake up first thing you think is oh no man it's monday and you start thinking all kind of negative things all kind of problems you got all kind of priorities you have and you start thinking negative immediately but we can hear, wait a minute, I need an attitude adjustment. I need to renew my mind with the word of God, amen, and seek him first, amen, and get right with him and say, thank you, Lord, for waking yes. me up. Thank you for giving me this beautiful day to serve you, amen. So attitude is your choice. I got to make yeah. the right choices. Yes. Attitude is a choice. Yes. Attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. difference. Yes. Attitude is a decision that you will, uh, the decision you, you, of your will, excuse me. Yes. <laughs> Attitude is more than uh, facts. It's more important than uh, uh, the past, than education, than money, than circumstances, than failures, than success, than what other people think or say or not do, yes. amen? Yes. It's more important than appearance, mm -hmm. uh, giftedness, or skill. It will make or break a company, a yes. church, a home, a family. The remarkable thing is we have a choice each day regarding the attitude we will embrace for the day. Amen. Rejoice and be glad in every day the Lord has given us. Mm -hmm. Attitude is altitude. Are you going to soar high mm -hmm. or are you going to go low? Yeah. Positive or negative, right or wrong, win or lose. Right attitude gives you power over the circumstances. Wrong attitude is like a flat tire. You can't go anywhere without changing it. Attitude would limit how far you go. Cast all cares. Cast all wrong attitudes on him. Why? Because he cares for you. 
Yeah. Amen. So get the right attitude. You know what attitude we need? We need a winning attitude each and every day because we're children of the King. We're children of God, you know. And when you start getting the word in you, you're going to have the right attitude. You're going to have a positive attitude. You're going to have a winning attitude. You're a champion for God. Yeah. So you're a winner. See yourself the way he sees you. Yeah. Amen. And uh, most important of all, you want to have your little Jesus glasses on each and every day because when you go out into the world, <laughs> you want to see the world with his love and his compassion. The Bible says in John uh, three sixteen, for God so loved the world. Amen. And we're to be ministers of reconciliation, bringing the lost to Christ. Amen. And you know how you're going to bring them? <laughs> you ain't going to bring them if you don't have him in there. You're going to have him. His Jesus glasses on it and you're going to see the world with his love and his compassion you know what you need you need Christ in your life mm -hmm. amen with Christ in your life man you, you can make it without him you won't make it amen so let's remember this put your Jesus glasses on every day before you go out into the world Woo, hallelujah you like my Jesus glasses huh yeah. you need to get your own <laughs> and practice putting them on and say wow I like your glasses Mine says Jesus glasses on there. <laughs> so praise God. Amen. So an attitude adjustment. Come on, we're going to be all over the place. So, you know, it says attitude, attitude adjustment. Keep going. Check this out. <laughs> it's time for that. How do you know you need an attitude adjustment? <laughs> my dad my mom, they knew uh, how to straighten out my attitude real quick. <laughs> it's called... Uh, <clears throat> a paddle. <laughs> an attitude of it's her. She needs an attitude adjustment of uh -huh. <laughs> Says attitude adjustment. Attitude is is your choice. It's your responsibility. Yeah, yeah. Attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. Yeah. Attitude will limit how far you go. Yeah. Keep going. Uh, these are all in, in, in different <laughs> order, okay? So it says you need an attitude adjustment, okay? Uh -huh. If you <laughs> I need it, okay? I need an attitude adjustment. Oh, we all do. We keep going. Yes. These are good. It says, help me, Lord. I need an attitude adjustment. You notice he's on his knees and mm -hmm. he's praying. Mm -hmm. But you could be laying down. It don't matter. That's you could it. be driving, you know. Or you could be going somewhere. It says, Lord, I need an attitude adjustment. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You know, how can you represent him? And how can you have love and compassion? Man, your attitude is not right. Mm -hmm. And you know, keep going. Mm -hmm. This is good. It says the attitude is a consistent positive mental attitude is a force that enables the, the, the holder to overcome even the deepest of hindrances. Mm -hmm. Amen. And there's all kind of hindrances out in the world. Or we also call them distractions. There's many yeah. distractions out there that's going to come against you and yeah. stop you. You know, you know why there's so much rage out there? Oh, gosh. Because their attitude's not right. Because they're in a rush to go somewhere. Rush to go. Amen. Rush to go. You yeah. know, and you know what? You're going to have some rage. And you're going to have a bad attitude. And too many people get hurt. Too many people get killed. Yeah. For having the wrong attitude, you know. Yeah. So we have to be careful. And uh, so attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. Keep going. Yeah. There we go. It says the greatest attitude to have is gratitude. You know. Yeah. When you raise your hands and you say, thank you, Lord, yes. and being thankful and giving him praise and just, I mean, just having gratitude for all he's done for you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. That's okay. You know, and if you don't say nothing, you know, so just give yourself back to him. Raise your hands up, you know, and yes. praise him and thank you. You know, you know how to say thank you. Keep going. Man, these are good. Your attitude, not your not your aptitude will determine you and your altitude. That's it. Amen. So, you know, hey, you can have the highest education there is. Uh -huh. But still, that's not, will not determine your altitude. Amen. Woo, man, keep going, bro. These are good. I have a whole bunch of little difference for you. The only difference between good and bad and a bad day is what? Your attitude. your attitude. Man, you woke up and ever since you woke up, You've been singing and confessing all the negative things. <laughs> Amen. Mm. Is it going to be good or is it going to be bad? Oh man, I'm going to have a bad day. You already said it. 
Mm -hmm. I'm going to have a bad day. I'm going to have this. I'm going to have that. Well, you can have what you say. So quit saying it. Mm -hmm. If you're going to say something, say the good thing, not the bad thing. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Help me, Lord. Just say the right things. It says, excellence is not a skill. It is an attitude. All right. I need to adjust my attitude. Amen. And I'm going to be, I'm going to have, it says, excellence is not a skill, but an attitude. So we need to straighten out that attitude. Amen. So it's not just about being skillful. You could be the most skillful person there is. And mm -hmm. guess what? You got a bad attitude. Bad attitude. Yeah. That ain't no bless me at all. I don't want to be around you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So keep going. Man, mm -hmm. these, these are good. Mm -hmm. Attitude is everything. Yes, it is. You know, we want to give it up for, you know. No, attitude is everything. It counts. It counts. Keep going. These are, these are good. I got a whole bunch of little things. We already said this, but it says a bad attitude is like a, bad, a flat tire. Mm -hmm. You can't go anywhere until you change that. That's it. You know what? <laughs> Nobody needs this attitude. Nobody needs to hear this or be around you. It. Change it before you go anywhere. You may, hey, you know what? Your car is a great tool. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and it can take you anywhere. But guess what? You gotta change that flat tire before you go anywhere. What about us? <laughs> we go all the time, but you know what? Change that attitude before yes. you go anywhere. Nobody yeah. needs to hear that or see that or be around that. Yes. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you want to change uh, attitudes, start with a change in behavior. Oh, Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. So attitude will limit how far you go. Listen uh -huh. to this. Victorious life enjoyed by Jesus and the apostles and all our Bible heroes. We read about our Bible heroes. Jesus being one of them. Okay. Uh -huh. But it says the victorious life enjoyed by Jesus, the apostles, and the Bible heroes is available to every believer. Mm -hmm. Amen. Attitude adjustments and winning attitudes are a major part of a victorious life. Yes. Attitude adjustment and a victorious uh, a winning attitude is a is is a major part in a victorious life. Yes. Amen. So guess what? We got to make that adjustment. Mm -hmm. Amen. We just can't go copying the world and having a bad losing mm -hmm. uh, attitude. You know, right. bad attitudes. No. Says, right. listen, listen, listen to this. Your attitude determines your altitude in life. Says every airplane has an attitude indicator. Mm -hmm. Somewhere in there, Carmen, you can find it. I just gave you a picture of a uh, of an uh, indicator, uh, attitude <laughs> indicator. It's in, it's in there. You find, when you find it, just put it on the screen. There we go. <laughs> that's on, uh, that's in a plane, in every airplane. Wow. It's called an attitude indicator. Mm. Okay, well, let me tell you what it does. It is an important type of flight instrument located in the cockpit. It reveals the airplane's position related to the Earth horizon. Mm. See, the Earth horizon is here. Okay? And... The pilot controls it and refers to the plane's indicator, attitude indicator to see whether the plane is ascending or descending. Mm. Okay? <laughs> attitude refers to the airplane's uh, pitch and roll, axis, yes. and the earth horizon. Listen to this. Every person has an attitude indicator. <laughs> it is an important instrument <laughs> in your attitude in life. Mm. Okay, and you are the pilot, and you control this attitude indicator. Right. Your <laughs> your attitude determines your altitude in life. Are you ascending? Are you climbing up? Are you being positive or you being negative? Yeah. Okay, so ascending, going up, amen, <clears throat> or descending, going down. Ascending high or descending low is your choice. Ascending high is soaring high with the most high, God. Mm -hmm. Amen. So if you want to keep going high, guess what? You just have got to have the right attitude. Yeah. And uh, that adjust your uh, attitude indicator mm -hmm. 
to go high and stay high. You know, the horizon is here and we're climbing up. Amen. Or you could have a descending, a bad attitude, or you could have a negative attitude and be wallowing with the pigs. Mm. Amen. And you're going down. Mm. Only time you want to go down is when you want to land that plane. <laughs> That's when you want to go down or you want to change uh, altitudes. But still, you are in control of that attitude indicator in your life. Mm. Are you going up or are you wow. going down? You're the one that's controlling it. Yeah. So let's keep it up. Amen. Let's keep our attitude high up. It says descending low with the pigs. And you're going to have a bad attitude, a wrong attitude, a negative attitude. And here's the thing. is, It's your choice. Yes. If you're having the bad attitude or the negative attitude... That's because you're choosing to do that. Mm -hmm. But you can stop it and say, wait a minute. <laughs> My attitude indicator is showing that I'm having a bad attitude. Mm -hmm. So let me adjust it so I can have an ascending. I can have a positive, a yes. winning attitude and not a losing attitude. Amen. That's it. And here's the thing is <laughs> climbing or crashing mm -hmm. is your choice. Yeah. Amen. If you're going to crash, it's because... You had a negative attitude, a, 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 a wrong attitude, and you just chose the crash. Mm. You could have adjusted. You could yes. have went to your attitude indicator yes. and made an adjustment and says, yes. and says, I, I need, I need to climb up. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm way too low. Attitude is everything in life. It's ten percent of what happens to you. And 90% of how you react to it. That's good. That's good. These things are going to happen, but guess what? How are you going to react to it? Yeah. Jesus was around all these things. Mm -hmm. How did he react to it? Mm -hmm. You know, a while back there was this quote that says, uh, What would Jesus do? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what would Jesus do? Uh -huh. You know, he could have had a bad attitude at the cross. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He says, Father, look what they've done to me. Mm -hmm. Look what they've done to me. Do not forgive them. Get me out of here. Send the angels to come and destroy every one of them. He mm -hmm. could have had a bad attitude. Mm -hmm. But you know, yeah. would, that would have been the wrong thing. That's it. That's it. Amen. He made an adjustment immediately. Even if he crossed his mind, he mm -hmm. still corrected it and said, Father, forgive him. Yes. yes. Amen. He had a positive attitude no matter what. You know, the Bible heroes you hear about, you know, Paul and Silas, they got beat mm -hmm. doing the Lord's work. Mm -hmm. You know, we we go through some minor things and we have attitude problems. Oh, <laughs> Paul and Silas was preaching the word of God and they got beat mm -hmm. and stuck in jail in the, in yes. the dungeon, way down in the dungeon. Mm. And you know what? They had the right attitude. They started singing unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. Praising God. Mm -hmm. They started praising God and guess what? He shows up. <laughs> Praise God. What about you? Mm -hmm. You going through some things? Mm -hmm. Have you thought about praising him? No, boy. Give it into him. He says, cast it on me. Mm -hmm. They gave it to him. They cast it on him and they started praising God. And he shows up and set them free. Not only that, the, 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 the guard and his family got saved. Mm -hmm. Ain't no telling who, who else got saved. That's it. So praise God. You know, it's not just don't limit yourself. Yes. God can take the little you <laughs> and yes. do big things. Yes. Big or small, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Just what matters is, do you have a positive attitude? Yes. Do you have a winning attitude? Winning attitude. Amen. That's it. So let's rem let's remember that. Mm. Crash or burn. Mm. <laughs> Excuse me. Climb or crash is your choice. You're going to make this choice yourself. Having a winning attitude is forgetting the past, the defeats, the setbacks. Mm. Know that today is a new day. Yes, know is. that today is a new beginning. Amen. And uh, somewhere in there, Carmen, is uh, Psalms 118, 24, I think. But it says, Psalms 118, 24, it says, This is the day the Lord has made. Mm -hmm. I will rejoice, I will rejoice. and be glad in it. Amen. I will have a winning attitude. Uh -huh. I will rejoice and be glad in it. You know why? Because this is a new day He's given me. Yes. This is a new day He's given you. That's it. He didn't wake you up to be a loser. He woke no. you up to be a winner, winner. to be a champion. To be yes. an overcomer. Yes. When you see yourself that way, you're going to have a winning attitude. Yes. You're going to have a positive attitude. And you're going around some people 
that have bad attitudes and that good attitude in you is going to show mm -hmm. amen it says watch your words watch your actions yes and you know when you have a winning attitude that's going to show yes. and people are going to see that they'll see that before they see anything that's it amen I've said it so many times, so I'll say it again. You need to write this down. You're the closest thing to Jesus. Some people will be around. You're the closest thing to a Bible. Some people will be around. Because they won't come in this place. They won't come in the church building. But they'll be around you. Don't hold back and don't keep your mouth closed. Make sure you share when you have to share. If Jesus said, share, say this to them. Amen. Or have a winning attitude. Instead of a rage attitude. Oh, man. man, the way you go now is rage, oh, rage, yeah. rage. Yeah. Yeah. You know? You got to show that winning attitude. That's it. Amen? So, you have a new beginning. Psalm 118, 24. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad. In. Man, when you confess, these, these are called attitude adjustment mm -hmm. setters. Setters. Okay? Attitude adjustment. Have an attitude adjustment. And uh, Psalms 118, 24 is one of them. It says, press on, child of God, with a winning attitude. It means climb up. Go up with me. Amen. Going up. Climbing. Mm -hmm. It says, Psalms, uh, Philippians 4, 13 says, mm -hmm. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yes, These yes. are adjustment, uh, attitude adjustments. Yes, yes, Amen. Yes. Man, I'm confessing these things and my attitude is going to increase. Yeah. My attitude is going to go up. Yeah. I'm going to climb. That's you know, it. I'm going to build myself up. Mm -hmm. Why tear myself down? And don't allow nobody to tear you down. You know, we've said that, I think it was last week. We said, see, you know what? Don't let the world bring you into their problems. You bring mm -hmm. them into your peace. That's it. Amen. Don't let them give you the bad attitude. You bring them into your good attitude. That's it. Amen. Mm -hmm. Come on now. <laughs> I'll put you better than amen in me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Attitude. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yes. Philippians 4 13. Thank you. Woo -hoo. Praise God. These are attitude adjustments. John 3 16. We already went through this, but it says, For God so loved the world mm -hmm. that he gave his yes. only begotten Son, that whoever that you in him should not perish, but have everlasting, everlasting life. Man, that's mm -hmm. that that's gonna that's going to raise my attitude. Yes, amen. Yes, sure. Thank you, Lord. That should raise your attitude. Amen. Yes. Ooh, yes. Hallelujah. Praise I guarantee God. you, not one of you is, is, is saying, hey, I want to sacrifice myself. No, 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 we no. don't have to because Jesus already did. Yeah. So we don't have to go and do stuff like that. That's it. There we go. It says, for God so loved the world. Mm -hmm. That means people. Yes. There's people. He didn't say what color or what. What height or what weight or whatever? He just says, people. Yes. Amen. The world, the world. that he that uh, that he gave is only begotten the Son. That whoever believes in him should not perish, but have yeah. everlasting yeah. life. Yeah. If you want an everlasting life, mm -hmm. have the right attitude, a winning attitude. Yes. Because your life, you're going to spend your life in eternity with him. Yes. Amen. So you determine. The bad attitude is going to take you down. That means you're going to spend your life mm -hmm. somewhere else. Somewhere else. <laughs> Only two places you can go. Mm -hmm. Back, you know, heaven or hell. <laughs> but that's still your choice. Mm -hmm. Receive him or, the, or, the, or, the, or uh, decline him, you know. Ascend him or decline. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's, a, that's an attitude adjustment. Yes. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. Uh, 2 Corinthians 5, 17 says what? Says you're a new creature in Christ. The old is gone, the new is in. Man, that's gonna adjust my attitude. I'm gonna have a winning attitude. Mm -hmm. He's forgiven me. You know what he says? He says he'll forgive and forget. Yes. We need to do the same thing. Yes. Let let the past go. Let the past go. Let the past go. It's gone. Amen. And you know where he's gonna attack? He's gonna attack your mind. The mind is the battlefield. So you got to renew your mind with the, with, the, with the Word of God. This is what the Word of God says. So renew your mind with the Word of God. Amen. So remember that you're a new creature in Christ. Don't let the enemy, don't let the enemy pull you back. Don't let the enemy take you back. Says, hey, I don't live there no more. I'm a new creature in Christ. The old is gone, the new is in. And people, 
are going to come and try to pull you down and say, you are nobody, you are no good. I said, wait a minute, that's not what the word of God says. So I'm not receiving that. Mm -hmm. I'm not receiving it. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise God. Ooh, thank you, Lord. And uh, John 10, 10. What does it say? Mm -hmm. Let's go there. Let's open our Bibles. The thief. The thief. The thief. Who's the thief? Mm -hmm. The devil. The enemy. The devil. The Diablo. Mm -hmm. Says John 10, 10. Let me see what mine says. Let me see what yours says. Open it up. Mm -hmm. Says the thief, and this is Mary, Jesus speaking, says the thief comes not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I've come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. You know, when you read the word, the Bible says the word is the truth and the truth yeah. is going to set you free. Yeah. Man, it's going to, I feel so free. It's going to change my attitude. Yes. Yes. Hey, my attitude is going to climb. Right. My attitude is going to be positive. Mm -hmm. My attitude is going to be, mm -hmm. I'm a winner. I'm a champion. I can do all things through Christ yes. who strengthens me. So Amen. these are attitude adjustments. Yeah. You need to make attitude adjustments. You, you wake up, first thing you do is, man, I woke up with a bad attitude. <laughs> and you want everybody to know. And it, yeah, I, can, I can see it. Your words, your actions are showing it, man. You got a bad attitude. We okay. need to make an adjustment. Yes. And confess what the word of God says. That's it. Confess the word. Mm -hmm. And it's going to raise your yes. attitude up. It's, it. Your attitude is going to change. And well, man, yes. I don't I, I don't want to stay in the bad attitude. I want to climb up. Amen. Remember the horizon is the level. Mm -hmm. Amen. So if the bad attitude is declining, good attitude is ascending, yes. going up. We want to go yes. up. So the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He says, I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. More abundantly. Have abundant life with a winning attitude. Yes. With a positive attitude. Amen. Yes. Woo, hallelujah. And uh, the other two we've already did. John to Philippians 4, 13. I can do all things through Christ. Who strengthens me? Mm -hmm. You can't do that. The world's going to tell you. You're not good enough. You mm -hmm. can't do that. Mm -hmm. But God didn't put you here to lose. He put you here to win. That's right. Amen. And I'm doing it unto Him. Mm -hmm. He's already qualified me. I don't have to be qualified by the world. That's good. Amen. I'm a God pleaser, not a people pleaser. Mm -hmm. If you're trying to please the people, you know, you they'll never be satisfied. That's it. That's yeah, and they're going to have you going down, down, yeah. down, decline yeah. all the time. <laughs> you want to stay positive. Mm -hmm. Have a winning attitude. In John 14, 6, again, He says, I am the way, uh -huh. the truth, the life. Nobody yes. comes to the Father except through me. Yes. And I'm going to be positive. Man, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to stay positive. Amen. A victorious, again, a victorious life enjoyed by Jesus, the apostles, and all the Bible heroes is available to every believer daily. Yes. Amen. You can have this, this positive attitude, this victorious attitude yes. daily. Amen. So. We just have to accept it. And we need to start doing it. Yeah. Being hearers and doers of the word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. We got to hear it, but we got to yes. speak it out too. That's it. Amen. If you haven't done anything. Words are seeds. Mm -hmm. And the Bible tells in there, Proverbs 18, 21, death and life are in the power of the yes. tongue. Death and life are in the power of the words you speak. That's it. And words are seeds. Mm -hmm. And you go and sow these seeds. Mm -hmm. And when you sow something, it's going to grow. Yes. So we want to yes. grow good Praise seed. God. We want to yes. sow We want to sow and grow positive attitudes, not yes. negative yes. attitudes. Amen. Yes. So don't live a defeated life anymore. That's it. You know, we defeat our own selves by yes. the words we speak. Right. There's power in your words. Mm -hmm. And you've been confessing the wrong things. Mm -hmm. So it's time you change what you're saying. Because there's power in those words. Yes. Stop living a defeated life. You could be a Christian. Mm -hmm. And confessing the wrong things. Mm -hmm. And you're going to live a defeated life. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Here's the thing is. You can't blame him. He's accomplished his mission. And he did all these things. And gave us all these things. But we need to apply it to our lives. So we need to apply it and confess it. Be hearers and doers Amen. of the word of God so we can live a victorious life. Yes. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. It says, do not live a, a, uh, 
not defeat your life anymore. Get up, dust off, press on, climb higher with Him. Amen. How do I climb myself higher? Climb up the ladder mm -hmm. of a good attitude, yes. a positive attitude. Oh, Amen. Yeah. <laughs> know who you are and whose you are. You're, yes. I'm a child of God. I'm a child of the King. Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to make some people mad. That's okay. You know why? Because <laughs> they are living a defeated life. Mm -hmm. And they want you to join them. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Hey, if you don't study the Word, confess the Word, and live the Word, mm -hmm. you're going to fall and you're not renewing your mind, you're going to fall and you're going to start living like them. And you're going to copy them instead of them copying you. That's it. Amen? So, stay your ground. Mm -hmm. And stay positive. Amen? says, you can't always have a good day, but you can always face a bad day with a good attitude. Yes, Amen? That's good. And a good cup of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even the cups has got a smile on his face. <laughs> so let's notice, you know, hey, you're going to be around people that are going to tell you immediately, I'm having a bad day or this is a bad day. And they're going to tell you why. I say, well, you know what? I changed my priorities. My priorities is God first. And I've renewed my mind to the things of God. And I'm a winner in Him. And I'm going to have a positive and, and winning attitude. And I'm not going to let them drag me out of my positive attitude. That's it. That's by their it. negative negativism. That's okay. It. So let's remember this. Don't have them. Yeah. Don't let them move you. You move them. That's it. Amen. <laughs> Experience the same victorious lifestyle. Is there for you. You can have. Amen. You can have it. So you need to start doing it. Start living it. Start confessing it. Amen. Amen. That's all we got to do. Philippians 4, uh, excuse me, Philippians uh, 3, 13 and 14 says, so slide is there somewhere, Carmen. It says, I forget what is in the past. And what does the enemy use? What pops in your head all the time? The negative. Your past. What do people bring up all the time? Your past. I know you. You are nobody. You are no good. I know you. I know the sin you've been in. I know what keeps you. <laughs> well, you know what? You just want to say, hey, you're talking to the wrong person. I'm a new creature in Christ. That's what the Word of God says. He forgave and forget. He, for he forgave you and yeah. forgot about it. Yeah. You need to do the same thing. Amen. They haven't, but that's okay because God has forgotten, has forgiven and forgotten. Yes. We need to do the same thing and let it's it go. Yeah. Even though somebody's bringing it up again, says, you're talking to the wrong person. I'm a new creature. I had a born again experience. Mm -hmm. Even though you see the same person inside, mm -hmm. I, I was born again inside. Yeah. It says, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, mm -hmm. but this one thing I do. Mm -hmm. I need to do something. What? Mm -hmm. Forgetting those things which are behind. behind. Mm -hmm. Get thee behind me, Satan. Mm -hmm. Jesus said it. We could say it too. <laughs> Get thee behind me, Satan. <laughs> Forgetting, uh, forgetting things which are behind and reaching forth unto those, unto those things which are before me. Mm -hmm. I press towards the mark mm -hmm. for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Philippians 4, 13, uh, 13, uh, 3, 13, 14. Mm -hmm. Okay, so guess what? The world's going to try to pull you down, go down, your attitude, adjuster, indicator, remember? Mm -hmm. Don't let it go down. But let it go up. This is an attitude adjustment. Yeah. I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to forget the past. Mm -hmm. I used to be down. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I'm looking up now. Yeah. I'm going up now. I'm going up yonder. Mm -hmm. Since we're going to spend eternity with him in heaven. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. So climb higher with him. Amen. Don't allow yourself to be pulled down. Says, hey, you know what? I'm soaring with eagles. I'm soaring with God. I'm not wallowing with the pigs. And even the prodigal son knew better. He says, mm -hmm. I can go back to Father's house. And I know I can do better there. Yeah. You yeah. know, some of you watching, some of you listening, you know where you were. You used to be in Father's house. Now you're wallowing with the pigs. Mm -hmm. It's time to say, Lord, I've sinned against you. Come to my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Yes. And I want to go for you. And you know what he says? He says, come on. 
have a good attitude. Yes. Climb up higher with me. Amen. Amen. Woo, he wants you. He, he made you to do great things, not yes, less things. That's it. The Bible says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So it's time to come back to Father's winning team. Amen. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. I know you're in a hurry to go see your uh, your football game, but <laughs> right now we're having God's game. Says your attitude is like a price tag. It shows how valuable you are. Yes. So you know what? If I'm going to have a good attitude, mm -hmm. it's going to show how important I am. Mm -hmm. How important to Him. See yourself that way. Like I said, we didn't come here to be uh, entertained. We come here to be empowered. empowered. And I'm going to be yeah. empowered. And my attitude is going to be right. And yeah. my value my value is going to go up. Because yes, I'm a child of God. I'm yeah. a child of the King. Yeah. Amen. So let's remember this. Woo. Man, we got so much to go. But uh, we don't have all the time. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Man, these are good comment. I don't need your attitude. Why? Because I got my own. And you know what my attitude is? My attitude is a winning attitude. Mm -hmm. That's what your attitude should be. And you know what? It's going to make some people mad. Oh, yeah. Well, you got to have a bad attitude because this is this and this and this. Mm -hmm. And they're going to give you reasons. Say, so, oh, wait. Yeah. You know, I get my reasonings from the Word of God. Mm -hmm. And this is what the Word of God tells yeah. me. Yeah. So I'm going to stay positive. I'm going to stay uh, uh, high. I'm going to stay or with a winning attitude. Yes, yes. Amen. I'm going to stay high with him. Yeah, if you want to get high, you want to stay high, stay high with him. Amen. Yes, high. <laughs> with the most high. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, this scripture we just read is Paul's uh, spiritual power. Yes. Since I believe Jesus, Paul, and the uh, Bible uh, heroes, uh, Victoria's lifestyle was a winning attitude. Mm -hmm. You could tell. It was a winning attitude. Mm -hmm. You know what? Paul was a well-educated man. He accomplished just about anything. He had whatever degrees, you know, there could be. And he was a very educated man. Mm -hmm. But still, he had an experience with God. Yeah. And he, <laughs> he needed God. <laughs> he needed God. <laughs> Amen. And so, praise God. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. So, one have a winning attitude of wanting to achieve and go and go for 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 God, amen. Participate, be a participator, be involved in the things of God, not a spectator. You know what a spectator does? A spectator, all they do is a sit and judge and be lazy and just complain. Mm. Amen. That's not what the word of God says. He says to go preach the gospel, the good news. Yes. He didn't say to go and gossip. Amen. Mm, come on. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Sis. Praise God. Thank you. Winning attitude. Quit, give up, retreat was not in their vocabulary. They had opportunities. You know, anytime Jesus could have just said, Father, <laughs> I'm ready to go back home. Forget these people are rude and cruel <laughs> and they're unforgiving. And so get me out of here. Send angels. Slaughter them all. <laughs> he could have he could have he could have done that, but he yeah, didn't. He didn't. Amen. He didn't give up. He didn't retreat. Yes, he kept yes. pressing on. He kept yes. pressing on. Oh yes. man, there's a cross waiting. You know, from the time he came, he knew he was going to be sacrificed. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what faces you each and every day. But you know what? We need to get a winning attitude yes. and press on each and every day. Yes. God gives us. Thank Amen. They had developed hearts of winners. They had developed hearts of champions. They had a winning attitude and they would have a positive attitude. Yes, That's Lord. what we need to have. We yeah. need to have a winning attitude, a positive yes. attitude, and a good attitude. Yes. This is so important. Remember, yes, yes. people are watching and they're going to watch your words mm -hmm. and your actions. Mm -hmm. How are you reacting to this? Mm -hmm. Amen. And their price tag. They're looking at their price tag. Mm -hmm. Let their price tag be a valuable one. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Peter, uh, First Peter 5 7, we'll close with this. First Peter 5, 7 says in the Amplified, casting all your cares, mm -hmm. casting all your anxieties, yes. casting all your worries, all your concerns once and for all on Him. Yes. For He cares about you with the yeah. deepest affection and watches over you very carefully. Yes. Amen. Lord. So in closing, let me ask you this yeah. question. <laughs> Do you have a winning 
attitude or yes. do you have a losing attitude? Mm -hmm. hmm? Only you know. That's it. But you know what? It's going to show. Mm -hmm. You got to confess the word. Get in the word and be hearers and doers of That's the it. word of God. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Yeah. Praise God. <laughs> and the Bible says in uh, Romans 8 17 says that we're joint heirs with Christ. So if we're joint heirs with Jesus, mm -hmm. guess what? We're winners. Yes. Amen. We just start yeah. confessing it, doing it, and doing it. Amen. And having our priority. Romans 8 17. That was Romans 8 17. But Jesus, put Jesus first every day, you, you know, before you start your day. Yes. Seek you first the kingdom of God, mm -hmm. his righteousness, and all oh, these other things shall be added unto you. I said yeah. this a couple of Sundays back, but you know what you got to do to get your attitude right is you got to take, <laughs> dethrone yourself, get yourself off the throne of God, and put him back on the throne. Mm -hmm. And get your priorities right, Jesus yes. first. <laughs> Jesus first, That's you know, it. before you start your day. Yeah. Jesus first. Jesus first. Seeking first the kingdom of God, his righteousness, and all these other things shall be added on to you. Change your priorities and your and start a winning attitude. Start every day with a winning attitude. Amen. Amen. So let's remember that God knows what's best for you. Trust him. His word can and will change us if we allow the word to change us. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. If you want a winning attitude, be hearers and doers of his word. Amen. Yes. Woo, hallelujah. Yes, so praise Thank God that you get something. Yes. yes. <laughs> we'll finish next week. Amen. Hallelujah. Or Thank you, Lord. whatever. But still, the word of God is valuable. Yes, it is. Have a winning attitude. Amen. It, it, it's up to us. But we have that attitude indicator that shows yes. Amen. And we are in control. The Amen. pilot knows every air, every air, aircraft or airplane has an attitude indicator. Amen. And the horizon is the mimic. Amen. Mm -hmm. And they know, you know, when your plane takes off, it can only go up. It can't take down. It can't go down. But when it gets up and it climbs up, you know, you got an attitude indicator. Mm -hmm. Is that plane ascending or descending? Mm -hmm. He knows. We know. Is our attitude right or wrong? We have that indicator. And we need to adjust, make adjustments and say, wait a minute, <laughs> our attitude is bad. Mm -hmm. I need to change that. Amen. Before I go anywhere, I need to change it. Who do I represent? I represent him. Amen. Amen. So they're going to see, they're going to notice this. Your words and your actions are going to make you or break you. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's be a uh, child of God and let's have a winning attitude. Amen. Yes, Those of you who are watching, it's time to line up with the Word of God. It's time yes. to come to Him and have a winning attitude for a change. We've been in all bad attitude for most of our lives, you know. Mm. And we've been letting the world just feed us mm. and fit, gave us the wrong, giving us the wrong things mm. to think on and called us the wrong names and said the wrong things. Mm. Well, it's time that you get back to Him and say, Lord, I I've sinned against you. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Yes. Amen. And He will. And you know what He wants you to do? He says, dust yourself off. Get up mm -hmm. and press on. I've got things for you. Amen. He's not finished with you. He didn't put you here to lose. He put you yes. here to win. Yes. Amen. But we got to get in the right attitude. We got to get the right attitude. Yes. We got to get the winning attitude in us yes. so that we can press on with the things of God yes. and know that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens yes. us. Amen. Yes. You got sickness in your body, the enemy, the world's going to try to do, put anything on you, distract you, put sickness or sickness come against you. You know, sickness is not for you. Mm -hmm. Jesus took the stripes on his back. Mm -hmm. Just say, by Jesus' stripes, I'm healed. So body, line up with the word of God and be healed. No malfunctions in this body. My body functions the way God created it to function. Amen. So sickness, you have no part of me. So I rebuke you and I cast you back to the pit of hell in Jesus' name. Amen. So let's remember that. Be healed by his stripes. By Jesus' stripes, you're healed. So see yourself that way. And see yourself. Speak your, speak the word to yourself. You know, when you're by yourself, it's you. And, you know, we, we're so quick to confess negative things. Why don't we confess the positive things and say the right things. You know what? 
I'm, I'm hearing it, I heard it, I spoke it, and I heard it. So I'm receiving it for myself. And I'm receiving healing for myself. Amen. So praise God. And it's time to give. Those of you watching, just go to our website. It should be on your screen there. NBCBigBen.com. Hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, uh, NBC PO Box 252, Marshall, Texas, 79843. And for Cash App, just go to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bang. God loves you and we love you and have a winning attitude each and every day in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless.